up, pet parents? Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm Jessica, the Furry Family Coach. In this video today, we are going to be starting 2021 off with a bang because we're I'm introducing to you the 2021 Pet Food Challenge. So stick with me in this video because I'm going to give you all of the details. And if you haven't already joined my group or checked in with my Patreon, check the links in the description so that you can follow along and participate in the 2021 Pet Food Challenge with your pet. All right guys, so we are kicking off 2021 with a bang and we are going to be doing a pet food challenge. So in this video, I'm going to give you all of the details on what we're actually going to be doing. And then to follow along, you will need to join my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. So if you are feeding your dog kibble, my Patreon is where you want to be. You want to join and you want to take the 2021 pet food challenge because while there are so many things we can do to improve our pets' lives, I think the number one best thing we can do, you know, the smallest change with the biggest outcome is going to be pr providing our pets with the best diet that we can afford. So the way we're going to be doing this is if you're feeding kibble, this challenge is for you. And I know so many people are. It is the most popular way to feed pets in America and probably in some other countries as well. I don't know how popular fresh food is in other countries. I know that it is a growing percentage in the United States, but still a very small percentage. So we want to change that. We want to improve our pets' health and improve our pets' lives. And this is what we're going to be doing with the 2021 Pet Food Challenge. So what we're going to be doing, if you are feeding your pet kibble, so I have a list on my phone here of all of the wonderful things that you can do to replace. All we're going to do is take 20% of kibble out of the bowl and we're going to replace it, that 20% that you're feeding your pet, with a fresh food. And there are so many wonderful fresh foods that you can feed. So in this video, I'm going to give you a list of just some of the foods that you can replace that 20% of kibble with that is going to make a huge difference in your pet's health and life. So obviously the number one thing that you can replace that 20% of kibble with is going to be fresh meat. There are so many different ways to do this. You can just use regular chicken breast, you can use dark meat chicken, you can use beef, you can use turkey, you can use, you can use lamb or bison or whatever meat you have access to you can use and you can also use organ meat. If you have access to an Asian food market for example, Go and get some liver or some hearts. Get some organ meat in there as well. You can also choose to replace that 20% of kibble with a raw meaty bone. I will have resources in my Patreon about what bones are good to feed and what bones are not good to feed. So sticking with proteins, we can also do whole raw eggs, which are amazing. If your pup doesn't want to eat the raw egg, you can actually cook the egg. You can hard boil it and the nutrition value doesn't change at all. It is one food that nu the nutrition value of the raw and the cooked are the same. Other foods completely change when you cook them, but with an egg, if your pup actually doesn't want to eat or touch the raw egg, you can cook it. I would recommend to soft boil it or hard boil it and provide it to your dog that way. And then of course we can't forget fish. Fish are another really great protein, but they also have really wonderful oils. So they provide a lot of omegas and vitamin E, which is amazing for your dog. Um, sardines specifically are very easily accessible. You can get them tinned. I do recommend getting them no salt added in water. That's going to be the best way. But if you have access to fresh sardines, those are wonderful too. And we can't forget about mussels and oysters. Those are also really amazing for your dog. Again, no salt added in water. If you get them packed, if you get them fresh, all the better. And then when we talk about fruits and vegetables and nuts, the sky is the limit almost. And there's so many wonderful, especially vegetables that we can feed our dogs like carrots and broccoli. Carrots actually have a little bit more sugar, but uh, carrots, broccoli, green beans, I mean all of these things are going to be wonderful additions, but the best thing for your buck is going to be broccoli. If your dog doesn't want to eat raw broccoli, I completely understand. You can also lightly steam them and let your dog have at it. 
Avocado is also wonderful, just the fleshy part, not the seed inside and not the exterior shell. Don't feed those, those are not good for your dogs at all, but the fleshy part of the avocado is amazing. It provides wonderful healthy fats for your dog. That's another great way. If you're eating an avocado, go ahead and slice a piece for your dog as well. And then when we talk about fruits, two of the best fruits that you can add to your dog's diet are going to be bananas and blueberries. Of course, you wanna smash these. Some dogs will actually eat sliced bananas, which is great, but smashing them also works. Blueberries, you also wanna smash, or at least cut in half. My chihuahua, who sadly passed away a few years ago, she loved blueberries, but if they were a whole, she wouldn't eat them. I think it's because she couldn't smell them as well. So if I cut them in half and let her smell the fleshy part of the blueberry on the inside, she went nuts. She absolutely loved them. But you can also smash them or even turn them into a blueberry sauce, sort of like applesauce. Apples are also wonderful. You can turn them into an applesauce, just a natural, no sugar added, of course. Just blend the apples after you take out the core and all of the seeds. That's also going to be wonderful for your dog, but it is a little bit high in sugar. So while it has wonderful fiber in it, you, you want to kind of balance that out with the high sugar content. So apples could be for you a good every once in a while treat for your dog. So again, with the pet food challenge, all I'm asking you to do is so incredibly simple is remove 20% of the kibble from your dog's bowl every day and replace that 20% with a fresh, healthy food for your dog. The very best thing you can do to get started in the right direction to improve your dog's life and their health. Like I said in the beginning, I think this one little thing, while there are so many wonderful things we can do to help improve our pets' lives, doing this one little thing has the biggest overall impact on your dog's life and health. If you have a cat, let me tell you, so wonderful. I would just stick with the meat. Stick with the, uh, stick with meat. Stick with organ meat and muscle meat. Stick with the organ meat and mus muscle meat as much as possible. Your cat is going to love it. They may not like huge chunks of it, but if you put it, sometimes you can like put it in a food processor and blend it up a little bit. Get the texture that your cat is going to love and take 20% of the kibble out of their bowl and replace that with fresh meats and organ meats, muscle meats and organ meats, and your cat, you're gonna see a huge difference in their overall coat and healthiness. I highly encourage you to do this and follow along with me on the 2021 Pet Food Challenge. Make sure to check the link in the below in the description to join my Patreon so you can follow along with the 2021 Pet Food Challenge. If you have any questions at all, please post in the comments below. Of course, our overall goal is to get to a fully balanced fresh food diet for our pets and not just replacing 20% of the kibble, but even even so, starting with placing, replacing 20% of the kibble is going to give show you huge improvements in your pet's overall health. So follow along on my Patreon. Thank you so much for being here in this video. I love to hear from you, each and every one of you, and I appreciate you. So make sure you are commenting down below. If you have a comment, if you have a question, I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out the other links in the description as well. I have my ebook, I have my Amazon storefront, which I have personally handpicked and curated all of my favorite pet products that I definitely recommend you try out with your pets. And there are some other links in there below, but I'll let you take just a couple minutes when this video is over with to check all of those out. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And I do hope, I truly hope in the bottom of my heart that you take the 2021 pet challenge with me. Start off 2021 with a bang. Let's do something to improve our pets' health and our pets' lives. And I'll see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.